Mm -hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared because I'm scared after 30 years uh, I won't have a store. A longtime business off the Broadway corridor will be shutting its doors in the coming weeks. Broadway Comics and Cards has been open next to Tower Cafe for nearly three decades, but rising rents and a shift to more online sales has forced the owner to make a tough decision. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Belay is in the newsroom now with more on this. Drew? That guy you just saw there speaking is Wilson Liu, and you, you got to see him. He has just absolute pure joy on his face when he talks about these comic books. But unfortunately, over the years, the margins have just gotten to be too tight, and now he's being forced to strictly go with only online sales. I've been here since um, February 19th, 1988. Before the Internet, this is real popular. There was Wilson Liu and his comic book shop. Thousands of comics stacked in boxes, kept so, in plastic. Wow. wow it's real tough. Some from decades ago. Oh my gosh. Like a true it fan, he can so tell good. quality with a whiff. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. It's a different experience to have a comic book in your hand to turn those pages. When he opened 30 years ago, comics were a hot commodity and business was good. There would be people coming in, lining up. They'd be buying two, three, four, five copies. One to read and the others to save. But since then, times have changed. Everybody's buying online, digitally, downloading. Walk-up sales have fallen off, and the cost to stay open continues to rise. They raised my rent twice in, I believe, 12 months. Lou tried to supplement the books with popular trends over the years. Pokemon was big. That was huge. It'd be like five monster zones. Yu-Gi-Oh! Another card game, like Pokemon, also caught on. I spent some good money here, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, literally, I just come around here. Matthew Henderson has been coming to Wilson's store for the past 10 years. It is kind of sad. Like many others, he would play card games and just hang out. Down there, there'd be like 24 people up in here playing, you know? Wilson says it's the people that he sees on a regular basis that'll miss the most. I'm scared. I'm scared because I'm scared after 30 years, I, I won't have a store. Now, his store will be open for the next few weeks as he does this big blowout sale. So everything is heavily discounted. He will continue to do online sales of his merchandise, and that final day will be January 10th. Tony? And you're right, Drew. You can see it in his face. He loves what he does. He really Wish does. the best. Thanks, Drew.